Happy Father's Day, YouTube! How are y'all doing? My name's Esmeralda Trifti Esmi, and it's Sunday. It's a beautiful day in the Houston area. Uh, we're going to an estate sale where I followed this lady on, a, on the um, estatesales.net, and her name is Diane. She's got great sales in this area, and if you say the password, you get 50% off before the public does today. So the password today is, do you like Shiner? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So we're gonna, gonna go see what we find. By the way, yesterday we hit some uh, garage sales that, oh my God, I can't wait to show y'all what I found. Do it again. On class. All right, we're here. No, not for me. So all that estate sailing got us hungry. And so Ricky made lunch for two. Those are chicken wings with his secret sauce that he throws together and it's spicy and sweet. And then these are jalapenos with chorizo and bean. Oh my gosh, yum. After this, I'll go make the video. I got priorities, people. Okay, there's so much to show you that I'm gonna start by showing you this way. Um, so this was Saturday's garage sales and that's one estate sale. This cute 1986 mickey and minnie american gothic comes in a frame but i'm gonna try to take it off and just sell it with the poster itself uh i got that for five dollars these large wooden um trays uh the man said it was like to hold long pieces of bread and so we're gonna use it for like fruit or uh, veggies chopped up so that, that we got for two for five. I could not resist these um, Avon uh, perfume holders. They were 50 cents each. Look at that. This was a dollar. Um, the man who sold me that Mickey and Minnie, he had cut up a bunch of these for 50 cents, but he gave it to me for free. And that's sweet. Got this over the door hanger for two bucks. It's for me. Got these sweet little um, barn, I guess. Salt and pepper shakers for a dollar. And look at this. This reminded me of my aunt Enriqueta, who has passed away. And she used to have one of these and she would keep water in the fridge. So I bought this for myself for $3 in her memory. And then this cute little um, rocking chair one dollar <laughs> i'm gonna clean it up before i sell it got this from uh, an estate sale yesterday a mickey how was a dollar magnet these beautiful j-o-y joy uh christmas um figurines and these were uh three dollars this cute little sewing button box I think it was a dollar and then this cute texas wood box eh, it's a little chipped but it was a dollar and then <laughs> i saw this on the fridge there's a skinny girl who keeps who lives inside of me that's trying to get out but i can usually shut her up with cookies <laughs> i might keep that one for myself that was 250. so as nice a haul as that was it does not compare for me to the first garage sale from yesterday. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun. Oh my goodness. I found a lot of Star Trek stuff for me. Check it out. It was a garage sale by a husband and wife who had downsized from a huge house down to the house they were at and they were getting rid of all their stuff. And so I bought things thinking if they sell well, I'll sell them, but um, I might just go ahead and keep them. Of course, you know me. Let me show you. So of all the things they had, and let me tell you, they had hundreds of items. I decided to get this. It's a picture card series from 1979 the motion picture the first one 
and there are a whole bunch of cards that have not been taken out of the the uh, board this was five dollars so that was great um, I saw this Hallmark uh, new in box well it was in the box um, Spock ornament oh so nice so pristine and then this is what I was like, oh, come on. How much is this going to be? Because all the other things were pretty pricey. But uh, he went to ask his wife, and they decided to sell it to me for $20. Now, I saw these on eBay have sold for $45. So to me, that's not worth getting rid of. Now, some of these have un unstuck. I think these people taped them there. Unless it came that way. I don't know, because I don't know what a real one looks like. This has not been removed. This one has. Ah! Come on, Kirk. They move and they have little holes under feet because, let me show you. I didn't even know this till I got it home and I was trying to clean it. There are all the stands for the uh, little toys to stand on. Isn't that cool? And look, those are the um, weapons to fit into their little hands. You see? <laughs> so I am so happy with this. Look, Ohura still in place. Oops, mostly in place. McCoy is in place. Scotty's in place. Um, Chekhov came off and Sulu came off, but Spock is still in place. The chair for Kirk. Ah! Hard to deal with a camera and... Hold on. Okay, so there's a relaxed James Kirk sitting in his command, command chair. And uh, trivia, quiz, time... What are the names of the original actors? William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, Walter Koenig, no, George Takei, Nichelle Nichols, Leonard, uh, no, 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 Leonard DeForest, no, DeForest Kelly, James Doohan, and Walter Koenig kind of hard to remember after not having watched a, a show in a while. I am going to display this somewhere. I don't know where. I'm so happy. Can you tell? And four more things I bought there. I got this Starfleet travel set for $2. It's your choice, Captain's Choice Cologne, soap, and wallet. Oh my gosh. And then I got me three for ten these weapons. Oh, let me let me close it up. Oops, you heard it. Cool, huh? There. <laughs> and then I can change the sound. Well, why would I want to shoot my poor Sulu? Sorry. Bye-bye. Now this one has those circle batteries and I don't have new ones. So who knows what kind of noise it makes. Haha. <laughs> this is probably from Next Generation. This is probably, this is probably from the original series. <laughs> Yay! I'm, I'm probably going to keep everything because I don't think the market is as strong as what I'm willing to part with it. What do you think? So I know this is a long video, but then today, Sunday, we went to an estate sale where the lady had everything 50% off for the people who knew the code, remember? And so let me show you a quick um, tour of what I got. So over here, pan out real quick. So over here we have a very long 30 inches by 15 uh, wooden display. 
a spoon display. It can hold, I think I counted 50 spoons. And here's just one spoon I bought. It says um, Mount Vernon, George Washington. So that was a dollar, well, 50 cents. And then this thimble wood display holds 25 thimbles. That was a dollar 50. That how paper towel holder, 250. This cute two piece Winton, I think it says. Wilton, bunny mold. I think that was $2 this trivet very old also winton i think that was two dollars gingerbread tray i think it was 250. Mm -hmm. that bracelet bar for myself a dollar i'm gonna clean it this cute 1974 78 uh teacup tea tea water aluminum thing <laughs> this um she called it a wall pocket. So it, it, it was hanging on the wall. It's a big flower. $2.50. That's for me. All seven dwarves. Only one has a little broken uh, finger. But other than that, the dwarves are in perfect condition. That was $3.50. These um, drawer pools, a drawer pools. There were eight of them. That was $2.00. And then these kitties, <laughs> they are so sweet. They were a dollar each. Isn't that cute? They're to hang on the wall. And this ashtray, of course, was a dollar. This Las Vegas ashtray, 50 cents. This is from the San Antonio, it says World Fair in San Antonio. 50 cents. I think this is bronze. This was two dollars Empire State Building, and this one was 250. I believe these are all uh, pewter or bronze. I don't know. Uh, this cool um, belt buckle. I think the middle part really is an, uh, a turquoise. That was $2. These earrings, I like music. So um, treble clef and music notes, that was a dollar. And now for you salt and pepper lovers, salt and pepper shaker lovers, all of these in this box were a dollar a set. <laughs> Let me show you, this is my favorite. The squirrel is the pepper and the acorn is the salt. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Owls. Look at that. These are from Six Flags over Texas. These are ice cream cones. They look like lime sherbet. These have like a horseshoe and horse. These are the covered wagons. I'm not sure what that is. The hermitage. Oh. These are little cast iron like a pot belly stove. Salt and pepper. These come in a box and they're little Indian salt and pepper shaker. And then these, copper. Well, they look like copper. I don't know. Maybe they're just color, copper color. Salt and pepper. And this miniature tea set salt and pepper shaker. So I just, oh, and these snails. Now these were $2.50. But look at that, look at that. A snail lover is gonna want these. Oh my goodness. These people had salt and pepper shakers from everywhere in the United States. Almost every city, you know, but uh, I tried to pick ones that didn't have 
localities. And for the final thing from the estate sale were these 1977 Elvis the King Lives On posters. She said the more you buy, the lower the price. So we got 30 posters and they turned out to be 25 cents each. I think if we can sell them for a $10 profit each, we're gonna be in big money city. I was so blessed with what I found this past weekend. I thank my husband for going out with me, having the patience to let me see what I wanted to look through. And he's the one who found those Elvis posters. He asked about them and yeah, I'll have to give him his cut. So thanks for watching. Leave me a comment if you have any advice or um, what you think. I thank you. Happy Father's Day once again. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.